Hi, welcome to Snowboard Batters. How are you? So today I'm gonna show you my new little guest that I want to introduce to my little family. So say hi to Pulgi. She is adopted from a dog shelter. She is six or seven years old, more or less. So yes, yeah, just a reminder that it's better to adopt a dog rather than go to a shop for a dog. So yeah, today I'm gonna be talking a little bit about the gear and the equipment that I'm going to use this season. We normally tend to buy a lot of things when the snow season starts and we don't necessarily need those things. So just a reminder because skiing and snowboarding are not eco-friendly sports so just to be mindful of that and we can make a little things to be more aware of the environment so yeah with that being said let's start with the video so i'm going to show you the things that i'm going to use again this season so the first thing that i want to tell you is that i have my deck reviews in the channel so i'm going to put the link down below in this video so you can check my capita horoscope the Capita Slasher Slasher and the Battalion Stonewood and the links are gonna be down here so check it out so if you saw my first uh, video in La Molina that day I was trying a new mittens but now I don't have those anymore because they broke and I have to throw them away so I'm, I have in mind that I want to buy a new ones but of leather because this type of mitten doesn't last it doesn't last for all this season if you do tricks and things and if you go to the park because they are um, you know so weak and so thin I have this but they are a little bit damaged and yes so I have to buy a new mitten a leather ones if you have any recommendations you can leave it in the comment section and the last season I didn't talk about the protections but I bought this in Andorra in a local shop this is the shop pens that I use now so this season I'm gonna reuse this they are new and the last season I bought two uh, snow pens from 6 8 six brand and they were pretty expensive so I'm a little bit mad because the first day that I went to the snow park with these pants they messed up with the pictures and I can't take the stains away and they are a little bit and you can't wrap the stains because you are wasting the, the fiber I don't know I'm a little bit mad with that because you pay a lot for uh, pens and then are not good enough for the use and another thing that I want to tell you is that I, I use the same helmet all this all this time you can recognize me for the white helmet and this is from Quicksilver and I'm gonna show you what happened to my helmet so in La Molina the last season I took a lot of sun and you can see that the helmet is like toasted like a piece of bread so I don't like this but I'm gonna deal with that and it wasn't a cheaper uh, helmet by the way the same with the snow pants and you know one one season using it and it's already broken I I noticed when it broke because it was in the snow park and the the wheel that has here it doesn't work well anymore so I can put the properly adjust to my head so I have to use always the abini 
under the helmet and I don't like that so I'm thinking about buying a new helmet this is from Creed Silver so if you have any recommendations about another brand that is not so pricey and you know you are an, I'm a snowboarder on a budget so if you have any recommendations on a good and cheap helmet let me know and for the goggles I'm gonna use the same pair of goggles you guys know that I always use the Smith ones you can recognize me for these goggles and the last season I bought two these goggles this is from Salice this is an Italian brand I really like the these goggles but again normally these goggles that are about more than a hundred bucks are the best quality goggles and they are qualified as anti-fog and those things but if you are like me a sweaty person really sweaty person and you hit a lot when you are snowboarding i don't find any goggles that doesn't fog even if they put uh, anti-fog system and blah 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 mm, it doesn't it fails me a lot and it fogs here on the here and i can see and i don't like that because it happens when i'm in the snow park because i'm nervous and i have more <laughs> and i'm more hot <laughs> than normally so if you have any good recommendations if you are like me and if you hit a lot when you are riding so let me know too in the comment section because I can believe the anti-fog system it doesn't work for me it's always foggy and yeah thank you so much for being here with me in the Pyrenees this season I'm gonna be making more cool videos so stay tuned and thanks a lot for the new subscribers that are arriving to the channel you are welcome and the Spanish videos are liking, so I'm happy for that. Entonces caería y eso sería el contracanto. Mejor caer hacia atrás, hacia la pendiente arriba. And yeah, that's all that I'm going to use this season because the setup that I have, I'm gonna use the same, the same snowboard boots and the same bindings. And now I'm, you know, if you saw my summer exercises video so now I'm trying to do here on the Pyrenees a little bit of activities like that you know I'm playing a little bit of basketball and and I go hiking with with my pulgy okay so I see you in the next video um, I'm waiting for the snow let me know in the comments if you're riding right now bye take care